Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner and welcome to Heavy Tones, the channel all about going low and heavy with guitar. But before getting into this video, I want to play you a clip and I want to ask you a question. I'm going to play a video here of me playing. I want to ask you, is this an amp sim or is this a real amp? Here we go. So what did you think? Did you think that was a real amp or an amp sim? Let me play it one more time and take a listen and then I'll let you know the answer. So what did you think? Well, it's really a bit of a loaded question. It's actually a combination of a virtual amp sim and a real cabinet. So if you said yes to either of those, you're actually both right. But now in this video, I want to show you how you can use your amp sims with a real speaker cabinet. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. For one, you've built up, like me, quite a collection of different amp sims and you want to use it in a real world context. So you want to take your amp sims and use them plugged into a real speaker cabinet so you can get that air pushing through. Maybe you just want to have a sort of practice space and use those amp sims that you've been fiddling with or you've got a band rehearsal or a live performance that you want to use these amp sims in. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you need and how you can set up and how you can use it. So let's get into it. Just to punt a few things before we get into it, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. If you're new to this channel, I'd highly appreciate it if you subscribe and also click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Now let's get into the setup. Okay, so you do need a couple of things, but you might already have some of these. First off, obviously you need a computer. Your computer is going to have your amp sims that you're going to be using. Obviously, if you want this to be portable, you'll have a laptop or MacBook that you can carry around with you and just flip it open and then plug it into the rest of the setup and you've got a portable Amsim setup. Then the next thing that you need is an audio device. So with this audio device, you're going to be able to do the routing to route out into your speaker cab. Now, the next piece of gear is really important. You need a power amp because you're going from a virtual Amsim into a speaker cab and you need to power up that speaker cab with something. I'm going to show you a power amp stomp box pedal that you can use that really simplifies the whole process. If you want to know more about some other pedal format power amps, you can check out Stephen Barton's YouTube channel, Gear Stuff and Things, where he goes over three different models there. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then after that, obviously, you're going into a speaker cabinet. Now I'm going to jump into my software and just show you the routing and also talk about the routing that you use. So first off, in your audio device, you're going to be plugging in with your guitar into one of the inputs. So that's going to be inputting your guitar. Then from that, you're going to be using one of the outputs on your audio device and you're going to take a cable and this is going to go out into the power amp. With your power amp, you're going to go into this with the audio device and then the output is going to go into your speaker cabinet. And then I'm just using a Shure SM57 to record the signal coming out the speaker cabinet so you can hear the results. And this is going back into my audio device and I'm recording it into Studio One which is my DAW of choice. Now let's jump into the software because you do need to do some routing for the outputs to get there. Okay, so over here I'm using Studio One. What you need to do in whatever DAW you're using is to set up the outputs. So for Studio One, I'll go into my song setup. Then under the song setup, I'll go into my audio output device. And over here, I'm going to my outputs. This is my main stereo output that's going to output one and two. But then I've set up a different output. This is a mono output. Luckily, I've got four outputs on my device and I've just chosen output three. If you've only got two outputs, then what you want to do is you want to use one of your outputs of output one and two. So you won't have that stereo output, but you just need one output to use. So now that that's all set up, if I go into my track, so for example, this track over here is the track that I'm going to be recording guitar into. And what I've done is on the track, the output of it is going to 
my reamp, or that's basically that output that I've set up. So it's going to be recording in my guitars, which is input two on my audio device, and then it's going out into output three. Now, what's really important is to make sure on the amp sim that you bypass the speaker cab or the IR that it's using. For example, on the ML5 over here, here is the cabinet section that's using a cab IR, and I'm just going to click this to turn it off. So just make sure that on all the amp sims that you're using, that you're turning off the cab that it's using. So that's really all you need to do. Then you've got your cable that's going out into the power amp, and then from the power amp, it's going into the speaker cab. So now let me give you some audio examples. The beauty of this is that you can load up multiple amp sims in your software and then just click between them and quickly jump between different amp head models that's going into your speaker cab. For example, over here, I've loaded up multiple amp sims by ML Sound Lab and I can jump between these different amp heads that's going into my real cab. For example, over here, this is the ML5, which is an emulation of the Mesa Boogie Mach 5. Then I can jump over here. This is now Stevie T's personal amp sim from ML Sound Lab. This is an emulation of a dual rectifier. Let's jump for another amp sim. Now for another, this is the ML800, which is an emulation of the Marshall JCM800. Going for another, as you can see, I can just jump between as many amp sims as I want. This is an Ubershaw emulation. So there you go. Pretty simple, probably simpler than you thought, but you just need to have the right components to do it. Like I said in the beginning, you probably already have some of them. For example, you probably already got a speaker cab, you've got the amp sims that you want to use, you've got your audio interface, and you've got your amp sims that you want to use. I found that the missing component that I needed was that Moor Baby Bomb. There's other power amps on the market, so definitely check it out, but the reason why I like this one is that it's small and compact and really just easy to carry around. I can take my speaker cab, my baby bomb power amp, and then my MacBook that's got my Amsons on, and I'm ready to go. So there you go. I hope you liked that and you found it informative. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, leave some comments on what you thought. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. So now that you know how that's set up, let me just play through a song so you can hear my amp sim and my speaker cab. Just letting you know, I'm using the ML Soundlab ML5, which is an emulation of the Mark 5. That's going into the Moore Baby Bomb power amp and then into my orange 1x12 with a V30. Here you go.